Right, good morning, welcome back. Now, if you ride a cruiser bike of any description with ape hanger style bars of any shape or size, you'll know that riding along on a freeway, motorway, you'll know it can be quite tiring after a while because the riding position puts you a bit like a sail. You're grabbing all the wind on your chest and that really does start to wear you out. And I'm not talking about half an hour down to the cafe. I'm talking about a four hour ride up the motorway with your buddies trying to go somewhere. You're doing 70 mile an hour constantly trying to keep up and that really is gonna shred you after a while. So some sort of wind protection is in order if you do that kind of thing, which I do. So with the Street Bob, I didn't want a big Memphis Shades type fairing. They look quite massive and bulky and they are apparently effective, but they change the whole look of the bike. I don't want to do that. I wanted something that's not too visually crowding on the front end, but it's still effective and protects me from a little bit of the wind blast. And I think I've tracked down just the right one. I bought myself this, it's the Dart fly screen, made in England, apparently really good quality. So let's get it out of the box and take a look. All right, as with all these things, you get detailed instructions, nice and clearly laid out. So I'm just gonna go over everything that came in the box, check that it corresponds with the kit list, and then slowly but surely and carefully get it assembled.
Right, really happy with my purchase. I did deliberate over this for some time. It's quite a lot of money, 129 pounds for just a screen. That's quite expensive, but you get what you pay for. It seems that good ain't cheap and cheap ain't good. That is at least factory quality. If that had Harley Davidson on the box, you'd definitely believe it. The hardware lives up to the same as the screen. The screen itself is four mil thick. The bead around the outside is even thicker. It's really rigid. And that beautiful coating, they put some sort of optical coating over it so it feels like glass. They even give you a little lens cloth with it and it doesn't apparently scratch or anything scratch resistant, all that stuff. So it's top quality merchandise and therefore I think, well, worth it. It doesn't look too obtrusive on the front of the bike. In fact, it really sets off the lines of the bike nicely. And I believe looking at the height of it, it will be effective. Hopefully I'll let you know if it's not. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, ride safe. I'll see you next time.